Hey there, what's up? This is Chris from Lecture Fame. So today I want to show you the Jiayu G2F, one of the brand new smartphones from Jiayu, and a very, very low cost smartphone. So, however, this is uh, the TDSCDMA version. So the WCDMA version, which means uh, the, um, the 3G version all around the world, is not available yet. So we will have to wait a few more weeks, but uh, waiting for it, you know, I succeeded to get the TDSCDMA version just to show you how is the phone, the performances and the specifications, okay? So just to present, you know, the box, you know, so this is a very, very low cost phone. Um, so the package is basic, but pretty tough, don't worry about that. And um, so you can check it out here. So TDS CDMA, not WCDMA yet, okay? So here we go. So let's open the box and see what is going on, you know. So as usual, you know, we will have you know the warranty card and the QS uh, QA pass, you know, from the factory. So otherwise we have the phone. So we will see later, but this is kind of a uh, a better phone than the F1, basically, you know, an improved version of it. So if we open the box, you know, we have like a paper from Jay, and we have the battery, which is um, a 2,200 mAh battery. We have a USB USB charger. So this is a US plug, but if you check out on our website, you can select the UK or the EU plug. And we have. A micro USB USB cable okay so no earphones like the F1 included okay so this is it for for the box <coughs> now what we can do is like have a look at the phone itself okay so it's a nice phone with a nice nice design on the back you know with a kind of a grip so it will be available in black and white okay so if we have a look we have like uh, back camera, back camera of um, five megapixels actually, and a uh, flash integrated. So we have the power button here on the top, 3.5 millimeters jack on the top too. The volume button here on the side, and the microphone and the USB plug here on the bottom. Okay, so it looks pretty much like the. Um, the F1, except uh, the fact that this is a 720 by 1280 for the resolution. It's uh, 4.2 inches display. Okay, so the speaker here on the back. Okay, so what we can do before is just like have a look inside, just to show you what is going on. So. It's a plastic back cover, but pretty tough, you know, don't worry, with kind of this special material on the back. So here we go. We can have a look here, sorry. So G2F, you can see, so we have like two SIM cards, okay, and a TF card here, okay. Just to quickly show you what is going on, okay. So now the best way to to show you what is going on is to uh, to get started, okay? Let's turn it on. Okay, so as you can see, this is a special version. This is a Leo uh, version of Android 4.22, so one of the newest, uh, one of the new system um, created. So it's pretty nice. You can see it's pretty fancy, and very the design is actually very very nice. You know? So if we open the phone, so here we go. So we have like widgets, whatsoever. So you can. Oh, sorry. So we can check it out. Um, if we go into widgets, you see you can select a lot of different widgets. 
which is very very nice and you can see it's very very nice for such a phone of course you know so of course here when you are in the welcome page you know if you sweep to the to the right you know so you have the um, the alarms you know the torch and a few other different useful stuff okay so if we have a look uh, at the settings of the phone which is a bit special and it's very nice you see so we have the common and all settings so if we go at common so you can see dual card management so dual sim cards so this is just a TDS CDMA but later on you know we will have the WCDMA so it's only on pre-order at this stage we will probably have it in the next few weeks okay so audio profile wallpapers wireless display Wi-Fi APP Bluetooth okay and in all settings so display the storage so storage it's uh, 4 gigabytes of internal memory and um, then if we go down the battery is actually a uh, show you before so it's a 2200 mAh battery which allows you to to use the phone for a pretty long time regarding the specifications okay so security for the language is I'll show you but as you can see it's not many languages but this is a TDS CDMA version which is usually only for China so you may have to expect more languages you know actually for the WCDMA uh, version I will keep you updated about that okay so if we go back here we go security Google accounts etc okay so this is just to show you quickly what is going on with this phone so you can see you have a lot of different um, applications you have the play store so you can have google maps and all different usual applications okay so what i want to show you now is uh, the n2 benchmark to to, to get you the the performances and the, the specifications exact specifications of this smartphone so you can see we have a score of 16 almost 17 thousand which is very very nice and um, we can have a look quickly at the bar charts so which is very very nice you know for low low cost smartphone okay so if we have a look at the device info so G2F 4.22 so the processor is actually MTK uh, MediaTek uh, MT6582 with a graphic processor Mali 400 MP. So as I told you before, the resolution is 1280 by 720. Um, so we have 8 megapixels, sorry I say 5 before, but it's 8 megapixels uh, back camera. So we have 1 gigabyte of RAM and 4 gigabytes of internal memory. So it's a quad core processor clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. So we have a 4.3 inches uh, display. So IPS screen with a density of 320 dpi, which is very, very nice. So 2 megapixels and the front for the camera, 4.22. And actually, which is pretty surprising and very nice too, we have a lot of sensors, you know, a lot. So you can see here not only temperature, pressure, ambient temperature, and relative humidity sensor, which are not supported, but all others are supported. So it's very, very nice. However, now what we can check is actually the, the root access. So let's check it first and let's talk about it later. So you are root. As usual, you know, compared to the F1, which is unrooted, but um, this one is rooted, which means you can change actually the Android version. You can more I mean, have more access and permissions to the Android system, and on top of it, you will not void the warranty, which is very, very, very nice. Okay. So, if we have a look at the multi multi-touch tester, so. If we put all together, it's a five touch uh, capacitive touch screen. All right, just to quickly show you what is going on here. 
Okay, so now what I want to show you is we want to have a look at the at the sound and uh, and the display. So I got this video from a uh, GoPro, so we can put the the sound to the maximum here. So as you can see, the sound is more powerful than the F1. Right away, we can feel it, and the quality is pretty alright. You know, so we can check it out. Still pretty responsive. Okay, and the quality, as you can see, you know, is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. You know, for this kind of display. So if we go a bit further. So as you can see the sound is pretty powerful. We really, really enjoy it, you know. So we can check the angles, you know. She's very nice, you know. The sound allows we can really Okay, so that was just to show you, and um, so you can see the sound is very nice, and the quality of the display is very, very nice as well. You know, so what I want to show you now is uh, actually a little game. So, as it's just four gigabytes of uh, internal memory, you know, I didn't. I didn't uh, install like a, a very very huge game, so I got this one which is like Angry Birds and, and Angry Birds Go, so it's like a card game basically, you know, just to quickly show you, you know, how it feels with it. So, you can see it's working very well, no problem at all. So sorry about the, the luminosity, uh, the phone is just like out of battery. As you can see, it's working very well, just to show you, it's no problem at all. Okay. So you can enjoy probably higher games than that, okay? Just to show you what it was, okay? So this is it, you know, like, this is all what I wanted to show you for a first introduction to this very, very nice uh, smartphone, local smartphone. So if we want to quickly summarize what is going on, so this is like the JG 2 f 4.3 inches um, display. So with the special Android version of uh, Liowa. And you can see it's a very, very nice uh, version. We can have a quick look at what is going on. And 
Okay, so otherwise, you know, it's um, so it's uh, six five eight two MediaTek quad core processor at one point three gigahertz, resolution of twelve hundred eighty by seven hundred twenty, one gig of RAM, uh, four gigs of ROM. GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, lots of sensors, lots, lots, and a battery of 2,200 mAh, which allows you to, to play around for a long time. A uh, few languages at this time, but bear in mind that, you know, maybe when we will have the WCGMA version, we will have more languages, so I will keep you updated about that. And um, you can see that you can play a game quite easily, the sound is pretty powerful, and the display provides you, you know, with high quality uh, images and, uh, and videos, okay? So at this time, uh, we think we can get it for uh, 110 euros, which is really a bargain for this, for this kind of phone. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment below this video. and. Uh, you can click on the top corner of this uh, video, right top corner, if you want to pre-order this phone to be the first one to get it and to access our website. So we sell it at www.electrofame.com. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have any more questions, just feel free to contact us and we will do our best to get back to you, okay? So see you later for the next review and have a good day.